Hey, welcome to this video. Are you ready to have some fun? I know I am. Y'all, this is going to be a great one. This is Mix It Up Monday for February. Hello and welcome. I am Karen. I am the everything here behind A Little Kinder. I am the creative brain, the getter dunner person, the video editor. I mean everything. And today I am super excited about this project. Um, you will see it here on YouTube. You will also see it on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you're on any of those other channels, I invite you to stop by and check it out. Um, but this one, Mix It Up Monday. So what is Mix It Up Monday? If you are brand new, let me tell you. If you've been here before, welcome back. So Mix It Up Monday is this idea where a group of us creatives get together. We take a sketch and our mixed media products and we mix it up. Very, very fun. So you get a lot of really great ideas happening all at once. One is that we get to come in and show you some ways to maybe use some products that are collecting dust in your house. And y'all, we don't need our products to collect dust. We need them to be well loved and replacing them. So let's talk about our sketch real quick. This is our sketch. It's by Rochelle Spears. I believe it was found on Pinterest for this hop. Really, really love that this is multiple photographs. It's got a lot of really good things happening that'll be really good for us to, re to be able to recreate. My photos do not fit this orientation. They're more like this. So we will be switching the photos and figuring out how they're gonna work together with this layout. I also love this little Polaroid thing. Um, I can see that being a journaling block. I can see it being a shaker box or an interactive piece. So ours is gonna be an interactive piece. Let's talk about it. So we're gonna use this envelope and I am going to take my X-Acto knife and we're gonna cut an opening so that this can slide down in. And then we're going to use this tag because of these little lights. I thought it was so cute. Um, to slide in and then we're going to make another tag. That's where our mixed media is going to come in this month. And we are going to be using Distress Stains. The regular spray stain and the Oxide. And then I'm also probably going to bring in, and I say also probably because I am loving this. I am in love with Scorched Timber. This was the brown that I never knew that I needed, and I am so glad that I have. I've said before, it kind of reminds me a little bit of if um, Walnut Stain and Vintage Photo had a baby. I use Walnut Stain and Vintage Photo to edge photos, to um, just kind of give something a worn look, and this is quickly replacing it. Now, I learned a long, long time ago with Tim Holtz and New Colors, do not look a gift horse in the face. I mean, like, do not say you don't want it. Just get it and then use it and you're going to need it. And are there colors that I love more than others? Yes, very much so. There are definitely some colors that live in my life a little bit better. But that's something that I am doing this year is I really am trying to focus on colors and um, blends, color blends, and things that, that work together kind of in... I'm starting with the Distress line because I have all of it, but hopefully I'll be moving to other products as well. So down in the links, there is an email link. And that is where this is going to live. That is where this color play is going to happen. Um, so if you're not on the email list, my suggestion is pop down there real quick and hop on it. So let's talk about the photos. I am almost done <laughs> with this section of Disney Hollywood Studios. And I am so glad. I am ready to be out of Toy Story Land. Um, we have had several epic trips to Disney that I am so beyond thrilled that we've been able to take. But I'm ready to have them in my books. I'm ready to be able to sit down and go from start to finish. Um, I thought the other day... <laughs> I spent like a whole day and I printed all of these photos and I thought that I had printed everything and I have not. 
<sighs> yes, there's still more that needs to be printed, but I will get to it and it will be fine. These are kind of leftovers from some other pages, but I really wanted these to have a place too. So this is one of us in front of the sign at Toy Story Land. I love the little ornaments hanging. I think it's so stinking cute. And then I will say that normal, like regular year, these little lights are up. But look, Rexy has reindeer ears on. You can see. I think you can see that right there. Rexy has reindeer ears. So that was fun. And then we are on Toy Story Mania, where I can never beat him, ever, no matter what I do. I don't know what it is. This game and um, Space Ranger over at Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger, or whatever it's called, over at Magic Kingdom. He wins every time. Every time. Every single time. It kills me. But it is what it is. So we're going to use this really pretty blue star paper. I really feel like that this has a great Uncharted Mariner feel to it, color wise. And so that's why I pulled out the colors that I did. I've also pulled out for our mixed media, a piece of watercolor paper and a stencil. And we're going to use some stencil paste. It, it's going to be fun. I promise. Maybe we're going to use stencil paste. Ooh, what if we... Do? Nope, we're going to use stencil paste. I am not changing my mind midstream. That will just have to be a different video. I don't know what's on there. All right, so give me a second to clear the deck, and then I'm going to be back, and we're going to actually talk through the mixed media part, because I think this is important. And I think I have been, not been doing it service by skipping over it and, like, fast-forwarding it and assuming that you know what to do. So no more of that. Give me a second to clear the deck. We'll be back for some mixed media fun. And we are back. Okay, so we have some choices to make. And I'm not really sure which direction I want to go if I'm being 100% honest. With texture paste, this is the sparkle. This is going to be really, really pretty. We could either put this down and let this dry and then do the mixed media part. Or we can do the mixed media, which, okay. So that, for the most part, will give us white sparkly pieces that the stains pull around or we can do all the stain work and then come back and put the sparkle on top of it at, at which point the sparkle kind of disappears because it picks up the color of the inks. One thing I'm not remembering, and I probably should, and I just don't, is with watercolor paper, if we do this first, if that is going to sink under it. And I cannot remember. And I don't see my samples. <laughs> Where I've tried things in the past. Let's see. Oh, here's the giant bag of... I've done it for other things. So this, this was not supposed to be part of this video, but here it is. I, um, I love to play and sometimes I have more time to play than others. So what I would do is like, this is, um, texture translucent on craft stock. So you can see the little X's under there. What I can't remember is if I have any in here. No, these are all inked. I mean, uh, not inked. These are all texture pasted and no inks. And I think that's Halloween stuff. And I don't remember on any of this that I did for Halloween. I'm trying to see if I see anything that is going to give me a hint as to how this is going to work. And I'm not seeing it, friends. See, I end up with all of these really great things that are super, super fun. And I just need to put them to work and make things with them. All right. Well, that was worth looking at to see if I saw it. But part of me kind of wants the white because of the white stars. Not sure. 
Oh, decisions. All right, but I can show you the color palette. So this is kind of where we're going. This is the, this is color palette number one that I'm playing with in my email group. See, isn't that gonna be pretty with it? This is the oxide and this is the ink and it's just blended. So the stains will look a little different, but I think it's gonna be really, really pretty. So that's kind of what we're playing with. Um, the colors on here are Scorched Timber, Uncharted Mariner, Broken China, and Tumbled Glass. I was like, I can't remember the name of the light one. So I do not have Broken China in a spray. Not to mention one thing that I notice with sprays is that um, as you build up, I'm trying, sorry, my brain, it's like, whoo, all of a sudden it doesn't work. One of the things you notice with sprays is as you build up colors, colors that are close together like tumbled glass and broken china, you don't really see a whole lot of difference in. So, all right. I think we're going to go for the white look. So this is, it's never been opened, I don't guess. This was a little bitty freebie bottle that came with something, I think, from Simon Says. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this. I'm going to run this stencil off the edge. I know I'm going to turn it into a... Tag, so I'm not going to worry about that upper corner. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it down here in the bottom. And we're going to do some down here. I really don't want to fill up the whole tag with this. I just want some. Alright, so ooh, I missed one right there in the corner. Lift this off. It is that easy to put this through the stencil. Now, I know the first time you try, you really wanna like scrape and dig and no, it, no. You can see how textured that is on there. You want it that way because this is texture paste. You want it to create depth. Now, I am gonna have to go throw this in the sink, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that's obviously not the best for filming for me to have to be like, hey, hold on, I've got to run to the sink. But I didn't pull a bucket of water. And these wipes that I'm using now don't do well for me to put the paste into. Now I am going to take my wipe and run it across the edge and make sure that anything that's sticking off of this is smooth. All right, there's that. I am going to dry this a little bit so that we can keep moving. So the, th the thought is that this will dry clear. All right, so this is dry. You see the really pretty sparkle. I really, really like this sparkle paste. All right, so now we're going to add the color to it. There's a couple of ways we can do this. One is the Ziploc baggie trick or packaging. I just happen to use Ziploc baggies. So any kind of packaging, any kind of um, a plasticky non-porous surface, you can use as one way to do a smush technique. The other way is to use your mat. So I think what we're going to do is work over here on the white part so you can see what I'm doing as we do this. A couple of other things that I want to mention. Dry paper doesn't move wet very well. Meaning if I take this spray and I hit it, it's going to hit the paper, it's going to absorb, and it's going to be big and splotchy, and it's not going to have the really pretty drips and runs. So I am working on watercolor paper and that's going to be important. So I'm going to use, this is a continuous mister and it just gives a really nice, even light spray of water. 
across the surface. Um, I'm going to start with tumbled glass. We're going to spray some of this down. And I'm going to use the paper. And we are going to just come into it and pick some of it up. Just kind of getting that on to our paper. And then we're going to dry it. This is the part that I feel like takes the longest. And it's the part that people skip on. So if you skip on this part, you're not going to get lots of layers of colors. You're going to end up with, um, I don't know, more splotchy results. So this is mostly dry. It's not crispy dry. You can see there's still some movement. And I'm going to go back in, pick up some more. And we're going to dry. I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz Mister, and I'm going to hit this little spot right here and try to get some movement going. There were some spots that it was just really, really dry, and so it's kind of puddled in a very weird way. So we're going to use the water to our advantage. One thing you want to remember with the sprays is that um, wet on wet will blend wet on dry layers. So yes, some of this is still dry-ish, wet-ish, it's ish, <laughs> and that's okay. Because I kind of want it to layer, but I also need to be able to hit it with some water to get it to move. I do risk when I hit it with water, the water reacting. And so then you get something different. You get some lifting happening. Okay. I like where that's going. I am going to put some more down. I'm going to hit it with this mister because it just adds a lot of water. I'm going to kind of break that up with my finger. Now, one thing that I know because I've done this before, having the texture paste on here makes it a little bit harder for the paper to get all the way down to that liquid. And you can feel it as you're smushing it in there, which is where you might want to use the clear plastic version. Let me get this a little bit dry and then I'll show you what I mean by the clear plastic version. Alright, so clear plastic version means that you take some kind of non-porous clear surface and you're going to get product on there. And then you're just coming in and using your fingers and the bag to smush things down. And then the same thing that we did a minute ago, we hit it with a dryer. This heat tool is just as hot as your embossing gun, but the air is not... Um, I think what the word is. It's not intense. It, it's got a wider area that the air is coming out of. So it, it doesn't feel as hot unless you let it sit still on your hand for a minute and then holy moly, it's hot. Alright, so we're just going to keep doing this. You probably notice this is giving me more dots so you can actually see them than the smooshing it into it did. And you can get this wet enough that it will give you more of the, the smush. But I really kind of like it more for the dots. And so when I'm adding something to begin with and I want it super wet, that's when I do paper to hard surface. Alright, now we're going to start with some Uncharted Mariner. 
My Uncharted Mariner sprayer does not spray. Just doesn't. Never has. If I push it in, I get globs. And that's okay. We're going to mist it with some water. Get that color kind of moving. I'm going to break it up with my finger. Wipe my finger off so my finger's not. <laughs> and then we're going to go into the water and start picking some of it up. You can actually hear that kind of click, click, click is the um, texture paste as I'm pressing it into the glass. Ooh, this looks really nice. So these are regular Distress inks. These are not oxides. We've not gotten to the oxide yet. And the reason that we haven't gotten to the oxide yet is that the oxide will react differently. It's going to give us more of a chalky white. Well, it's not white, but a chalky finish versus this kind of ink blended finish. And so when I make my backgrounds, I do the um, distress first, get it the way that I like it looking kind of the way I want it to look, and then I come back with the oxide. So I'm going to pick the bag back up because I liked that kind of dotty look. I'm going to add some dots in here. Ooh, that looks really nice. Let's dry this. All right. Before we move on to oxide, I want to add a little bit of timber. Timber is going to be a strong color. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to mix it into what's left here of this blue. I'm going to add a little water to it. And I'm going to use the bag method on this. And the reason I want to use the bag method is because of how strong timber is color wise. Is it wrong if you do it the other way? No, it's not. This is really more about a play session. Okay, this is time for you to get this out. Play, you know, I showed you my huge bag earlier. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, 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 I love it. Showed you my bag earlier of playtime. Like, I pull out three or four colors. I kind of go to town. And then I set them over to dry. Alrighty. Ooh, this is so pretty. And you're really starting to see the depth of what's going on because we keep going and 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 keep going. All right, I'm going to dry this off real quick. All right, now we're going to do some oxide. Oxide, we need to make sure that it is mixed up. Looky there, that one wants to spray. And spray just a little bit towards my tag. There we go. Oh, nice. I'm going to lift it up and add some water here. Blend that up. Grab our baggie. And away we go. You can see that I've got bigger blobs now than I did before. And that's okay. We have really big blobs. Come in and dry this. And you'll start to see that chalky finish happening. Now, your Ziploc baggie does have two sides, so if you wanted to try to lift some color, you could go to the other side, if that makes sense. 
like rather than all working from one side, you could go over to the other side and kind of lift from it. All right, that's good and dry. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the brown. I do wanna clean this up because that's way too much liquid on my table. We're gonna do the brown scorched timber, oops. You can hear the metal ball in there clicking. That lets you know that it's not, ooh, that's nice. There we go, a little scorched timber. So evidently my scorched timber in oxide is wanting to leak. Let's see if it sprays. Yeah, it sprays. Alrighty, where'd the lid go? There it is. So now we're brown all over our hand, which is fine. Kind of get some of this going. Again, I am not really paying attention to kind of what's what's going on on the bag. I know that like, I kind of want some of this along the edge. So I'm trying to get it under one finger. And that's how I get it to go where I want it to go. Look at how pretty that is. All right, let's do some drying. Now, this is where this gets really fun. We are going to put some water in our hand and we are going to spritz it on here to get some lift. So quite a bit of water. And then you just flick it, right? We're gonna kind of let that sit for a minute. You can see it's starting to work. Ooh, I didn't mean to shake that. See how it's kind of wicking and the water's moving? Okay. This is my rag that I use for all things. And I'm just gonna press it down and lift up that excess water. And you can see where there are water spots now. Okay, last dry. I'm gonna go grab our stencil back. We have one more thing to do, hang on. All right, so we got our stencil back. You want a stencil and a real wet wipe. And what we're gonna kinda do is try to line up our stencil with our, I think I went this way, yeah, with our, there it is, with our paste. And you'll see it drops in when it happens. And then we're gonna lift. And look at that, it wipes right off of the paste. So here's the paste down at the bottom that we've not wiped yet. Here's the top where we just wiped. Turn this back over. There's the star. Get it lined back up. And then we're going to wipe. And look, that is what I love about texture paste. So there is our mixed media portion. Hope you like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the deck. I am going to turn on some music and we're going to finish out this layout. All right. Be back in a second with clear deck and we will make a layout. Okay, here we are. We are back to make a layout. So we have our little tag and our big tag and our envelope and our photos and our sketch. So I'm gonna cut the mic, I'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna make a layout.
here is our finished layout. Really like how this one turned out. And we have the pullouts here. I did go ahead and cut it all the way through to the back. It was not deep enough with as big as my tag was. And I didn't want the tag sticking up so far that it like completely covered us. But I really love how this one turned out. I love that we've got that mixed media in there. And I really hope that as this video draws to an end, that you pull out any sprays that you have. They don't have to be distressed. They could be any companies. They all work basically the same. I mean, I know there's some nuances that are different, but they all basically can be used with the two techniques that I showed you. Yeah, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the creatives below using either the links or the playlist. Both are fantabulous and will get you to where everyone has created based on this sketch and have added in their version of mixed media. Thank you for joining me for Mixed Media Monday. I hope that you are inspired. If you do create, please come back and tag me either here or on Instagram or on Facebook. I would love to see what you create. I would love to see um, how you have used sprays this month. A couple of quick asks, please, will you like this video? <laughs> it really, really helps others find me. And I have this huge goal of hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And that takes you, that, that takes each and every person who watches my videos to hit like and subscribe and then share it. And that really, really means the world to me. And I am so glad that you were with me today as I finished up Toy Story Land. Yay, big round of applause. Thank you so much. Until we're together again in the next video, go make some memories. Bye-bye.